New stations airing the David Pakman show. CFAD in Salmo, British Columbia. Canadian affiliate. Love that. WBSU in Brockport, New York as well. And also on television, Winchester Community Access and Media in Winchester, Massachusetts. Our poll up on davidpakman.com. What would be the political effect of a government shutdown? We are taking your, your, uh, your votes. This is an unscientific poll. It is just a reflection of the opinion of our viewers. That's a, that's a fair disclaimer. I'm not going to say that if you work in government, you have to be removed from the poll, the way Bill O'Reilly would say, or anything like that. It's, it's just an informal poll. Which anyone can take part in. Emails. You can email us through our website, davidpackman.com. Talking about Republican attacks on abortion being domestic terrorism. The entire GOP agenda is designed to deconstruct the American value system. Once they get it done, they will rebuild it into a privatized right-wing nightmare. And are Republican abortion proposals domestic terrorism? Of course they are. So are all the other proposals they have that control and limit the rights of people. And lastly, these proposals will never pass. They were never intended to pass. They are a distraction, and that's it. I agree. We have seen, if you thought that you could waste time on a Saturday afternoon just hanging around at home, that is nothing compared to the new ways that Republicans in Congress and state houses across the country have figured out to waste time. Oh, they've mastered it. They don't need televisions. They don't <laughs> need Xboxes. Um, they're, they're amazing. It's a skill all, of, all its own. Mm -hmm. I've also been talking about hypocrisy on reporting of Egypt, Libya, and Wisconsin, which I believe are, are connected in a way. Whether you like Fox News or not, they have a right to report the news. You are hypocritical to support protesters who try to silence the reporter while you talk about free speech. Is free speech for everybody or only those who agree with you? Even President Obama and other Democrats show up on Fox News. Do they know more than you? N know more than me about what? I don't, I don't really get we were, this. Email. We were strictly commenting on, uh, on Fox News and their coverage and the contrast between the coverage of Wisconsin and Libya. We were not trying to silence Fox News. By no means. Fox News, I believe, should keep going. Uh, just be aware that we consider it Fox, quote, news, unquote. And lastly, Jesus, that clip you showed from Fox is so typical, it's even cliche. If I made a movie with a scene like that, I would be laughed at for how blatant and obvious it was. At what point can we riot in the Fox News headquarters and get it brought down? You know, I disagree with this email. I don't condone violence of any kind. I don't condone the attacks or physical violence on any reporter, regardless of whether it is real news or fake news, which means Fox News and The Onion don't condone it. Real news outlets also don't condone it. Don't know what else to tell you. And lastly, on the Paul Brown not denouncing a question about who's going to shoot Obama. You are the Hitler youth, David Pakman. Why don't you move to Germany? You're a Nazi who masquerades as a devout Democrat, and you try to ride the coattails of the gay agenda press. Gay Hitler youth, David Pakman, you go too far. Well, I'm Jewish, so I don't think that I'm part of the, the Nazi, uh, Nazi youth. I'm also not gay, so I don't think I'm part of the gay press. But other than that, it's a brilliant analysis, and I thank the, the listener for it. I thank this, this analyst for it. How much time do we have, Lewis? One more? Nope, that's about it. All right, join us on the bonus show, davidpackman.com slash Lewis. Special offer. Make sure to get that. See you in a couple days. The David Pakman Show at davidpackman.com.